Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Utility and in their back pocket, and ultimately they're playing for the 5v5. It ultimately comes down to, can LNG lock down these high mobility carries, or will Mad Lions be able to leverage a lot of their mobility? Oh, they they, they changed the, the call from gank to dive because Humanoid pushed out mid lane, so here comes the dive. It is Minionar though, so Tower Aggro has to be juggled well. He's not very tanky. Here comes Ale alone. El is gonna pull the wave away, and here we go. The jump on in, the hop, decent damage. Flash the wave from the block, and he's stunned. Armut, Armut's dead! That's first blood! That's second blood! LNG 2-0! Bottom side, overloaded with LNG members, and Karzi and Kaiser are under attack. Low on the Karzi. Kaiser gonna find himself a bit of a heal and a flash over. Karzi gonna arcane shift and say, okay, burn some more summoners, go for it, but stun's gonna land, decent damage. There really isn't a way out for Karzi, but it can make them waste a little bit of time. Couple of flashes, but a kill comes through and that's worth it. And they hand a no It's up right now. Will it be a sidestep? He's not in range. Armut comes back to safety. Okay, so the, the flashes in top lane end up being exchanged and shouldn't be anywhere close. Humanoid is gonna get <laughs> spotted out on a control ward and Icon, he has the TP up once again. Seen this play before. It went well for LNG. Stun's gonna land the chains there as well. Megadar into the wall. It is a kill traded. It is a double Ooh. kill traded. It just keeps happening. So it says, OK, you need to throw one more spell. And that's what allowed the final turret shot to hit. Ah. Well, LNG now find themselves in a really great spot. And honestly, all they've done is punish the aggression from Mad Lions. Tarzan is now going to be even stronger as they look for another play. That's a stun. That's decent damage, or at least a root as Armut and Elioya want in. Ale, does he trade one back? Of course he does, but it's a kill. One for one with the assist on top. However, is there enough coming through here? Tarzan can flash. Tarzan will not flash, though, and the hop gets Armut to safety. This actually is going to leave the opening to push out mid for Mad Lions. They even roamed up Kaiser. wonder if you get get much out of that, because all the rest of the lane should be held pretty pretty quickly. Tarzan's coming around behind, but they make the dive. Chains the knock up the charm. Second round of spells. Good flash by a Wandi. Q flash auto. That is a dive that finally works. Mad Lions get a kill unanswered. So Mad will at the very least get themselves it. something, but Humanoid <laughs> is now stuck in a very awkward position. Yes, he is. He's stunned the stat misses again. The Q missed. He missed Tarzan the gets the ulti, though, and it is a heartbreaker. Kaiser has to flash away from the chains of betrayal. And that will be a kill into the back pocket of Tarzan. Remember that while all these shenanigans have been going on for El Yoya, Tarzan's just been farming away. He's been sitting on all this XP, and now Ale commits. Gonna have at least the amount of damage here on this one. Armored down well below half health. Tarzan gonna be in range. Gonna find himself a stun. No, oh, what a great Ooh. juke. Well done, Armut has survived oh. so many of these ganks. But the Herald Crash does come through, and that's two more plays taken top. Karzi, yeah, nice one. Good sidestep by Light. One more kill, and it's darkness for Karzi. Woo, nice fancy dodges on top side for Arma. Bottom side, though, Light gets the extra shot. And Double why he went for this build pass to be able to get one shots alongside the LeBlanc, who has now completed the Ludens. But LNG, they're going to secure themselves the first tower of the game. The cross map is all oh, a... Oh. Vision. Two level deficit. That's going to be tough. Obviously, Kennen does not care about stealth, but he cares about exhaust. He cares about burst damage. They got to land one more skill shot. A flash to safety. The clock tower is not going to land. This game is all about top laners surviving. Another great escape for all And guess what? That buys you on the other side of the map when you overinvest on that top side. Tarzan and Light take down the secondary turret here. They can easily retreat to the dragon as well. Mid lane falling simultaneously. LNG punishing for all that. Resources top. funneled into him with all of those plates, with the massive CS discrepancy, with the kills that he has. Yeah. Light is a big carry for LNG right now. They left Light alone and their base got lit up. 3,000 gold lead, almost all of it. Light has three quarters of LNG's lead. Now a the fight flash. in the top side. Good damage. All a pretty squishy. Needs the next spell to come off. Agu's gonna land. Thank you. Luden's Echo's cooldown. And Humanoid gonna stay alive. Gonna find yet another route. Plus and Everfrost. So a lot of possible plays to come out there from LNG. You rotated your bottom lane already off of taking the bottom side turret. They can move up. This is very scary for Mad Lions. Visibility for El Yoya. Jumps out of it anyway. Kaiser. Does not share the heal, doesn't really need to. Humanoid gonna be rooted in place, but will not die for this one. LNG, can they tower dive? Not easily. The turret's in the way. A stopwatch for Icon, and absolutely nowhere to go. A follow-up stun, not quite gonna catch Tarzan, only Iwandi down to 4,000. Third Dragon, Cloud Drake, yes. Patient on the smite, claim it after True Shot Barrage. And Mad is just doing what they can to slow the game out. 
look for picks and just wait for more items to come through. Ability, or maybe go for a pick. Double TP coming in. This could be huge. Ole going to spot Armut now. Humanoid can find the route. He's going for the play. Out of the range is Humanoid staying alive, but Ole means he's built the time. Armut, oh, well, Yoya just deletes the man where he stands. Icon now on the run. Ult's not going to land. It slows down Iwandi, but that's going to be it. Tarzan coming in now into Armut. Can you kill him? Can they get the reset? Not just yet. But if you find the lockdown, that's a big bullet time. Flash down into Kai's, but he can get back to safety. Meganar into three. I want the low. A big bullet time drops down. Mad Lion's armor is dead. And that is one body claimed. One for one overall. Both top laners are dead. And it's, this means that LNG can finish up pushing on this top tower. They'll get the extra objective after the fight. They make a hero play into the wall, but a good flash from Light. And because he saved his ultimate, they can finish up the extra kill. Humanoid is for solo and now Ale. Before, Ale gonna come in on El Yoya, and that is Ooh. the one downside of the squishy Kiana build. Does not land enough damage. Available decent damage from Humanoid, but drops to half as much as he had dealt to the opposing team. The back of the pit is dangerous. The spikes will stun. It does more damage, but it's getting lower and lower. It is smiteable, and though it's early, it still lands. Meganar now in the pit. Stuns absolutely everyone. This could be the fight, even though Baron was claimed, but Tarzan's looking for his resets. Still drops first. Icon on the backside gonna find that kill. Mad Lions still have three alive. They may have won the team fight, and Icon has nowhere to go. He's got no flash, so Karzi claims it, and it's just light left alive. Cannot chase down human LNG. Do they take the fight, or do they say, we'll wait for five minutes? Human wants the poke. Doesn't get a whole lot done, but Ole, if he's got a blast plane, he gets in. If he doesn't, he can't make it happen. Maybe walking around for the flank, looks for El Yoya, is stunned, and now they find the knockup. They remember the support, but there's not a kill just yet. Ole knocks down Kaiser, and even I pushed out as well. Tarzan now doing his best impression, finds Nolte over the top, and Arma, a quick heal, but will he die? Iwandi follows, and Iwandi wanders into his death. Ooh, humanoid playing with fire there. He was able to navigate his way out of that tricky fight as Tarzan is continuing to look for more. They're trying to cut off the escape route, but Tarzan says, enough is enough. I don't want to overcommit to this. But Mad walk away. Well, their side of the map, but there's still a couple of deep wards up, and I guess Control Ward will get even more of the vision taken off the table. Armut low on Rage. Icon wants in, gets a slow only for the route, and Able to stay alive for now, but Kaiser wants in. Charm, knock up on a two. El Yoyo over the top, bullet time to trade it. One for one, and a reset is in. Is Tarzan gonna get much done? Ults to safety, Karzi wants in. Can they find the damage? So many heal for move speed. Flash Q gets the red buff slow. The house not gonna land, the realm warp. The play had to be win the fight, then run to Dragon and just zone away Tarzan. Dragon's not gonna hurt you very much. Top lane turret dies, Ole's here. Ole has ult, Ole has a death cap. We have seen him delete. People before Ooh, deletes a wave, but now Cloud Soul is gained. He's got move speed, he's got a sudden humanoid, and the prediction! Oh! That is the sickest the guy who owned the vision. Armor trying his best to maintain his rage bar. He's not trying to hit anything right now so that it doesn't proc. Here comes Ale. Ale is in, gets exhausted, finds some decent damage, does not kill Kaiser. Instead, he is shut down. Huge! It's not bad just to land a Q and wait. Tarzan gonna heal up a little bit off the blue buff. No Give that one over to Icon. Ale, rocket belt is up, stopwatch available. Ulti is up, this could be a lot of damage. Arma, well timed Meganar, but that's a limited resource. Mad Lions need to push the pace here, or they will not have Meganar. So, Kaiser comes up. Kaiser forces a stopwatch out of Tarzan. Armut running out of time, finds a single stun. Back to Mini, and back to the fountain he goes. Trade it back, that was all a drop without getting to ult, and that's a huge deal. No cannon is a really important point here, as Icon is down to 100 health. Stopwatch to buy a time. Karzi can't find it, but El Yoya does, and he's invisible. He can run right back out when the W comes back from cooldown, but Light just does too much damage. Humanoid and El near him. Icon could TP in 20 seconds. This is realistically uncontestable unless they somehow win a 2v3. But how should that even work? Damage to Karzi. His mana pool's a bit low. Iwandi puts the ulti in, but he jumps the wall. Reset comes in. A charm, a knockup. Elder Dragon claimed, and it's going to be a one for one. They've traded kills one for one. Elder Dragon on four fight. The last hope of the LEC, Mad Lions have claimed the Elder And these are the rewards. And finally, at 43 minutes, mid lane outer will fall. Mid lane tier two, the target as well, as an Ezult goes quite wide. Maybe he was checking for a flank angle, I'm not sure. But mid lane tier two drops, and would you believe it? 
There is a gold lead for Mad Lion. Right, and secure this tower. Skrinner's the last of the Elder Dragon. Eight seconds left, they're in the back door. Here comes the wave, here's an auto attack. That will kill it. Here and here comes the, comes the flank play. Ale here it. to turn this one around. Elioya spots it, oh, but the no. ult's gonna whiff. And that's an extra resource. That's an extra chance to make this happen. Iwandi burns the locket. Cards are still poking, and Arnold pushing to the top side. Still a minute left on the Baron buff, and that means they can fight for another inhibitor turret. Light taking a bit of damage. Good shots by Karzi. Good shots out of Iwandi down to 1,000 health, and that means the defense is in shambles. Mad Lions were set so far back off a series of failed dives, and they will take the first inhibitor of the game. They're waiting for Mininar. This, this inhibitor is going to go down in that duration. Mad Lions trying to get the most out of it. Baron buff still on for 40 seconds at this point. Do you really take that fight? Ale maybe, Tarzan in, stun on a two. Here comes big damage, they've got the first shutdown. That is Arma dead. That's a now retreat, but Realm Warp brings in three. Iwandi, of course, the flash away from Kaiser, a flash away from Humanoid. Mad Lions will slip away, but they're still down two inhibitors, and Kars is gonna push in top. Going for the threat on top side. There's no inhibitors there. He's gonna get those minions and threaten the Nexus turret. You have to answer. They send Rise. Rise has TP, so we can answer the wave and then join for the push. They might try to end. Armut's dead for 35 seconds, and LNG wanna make quarterfinals. Humanoid steps away, but his crit down to 1300. This game could end right here, and they've brought the reinforcements. El Yoya's on the way. A knockup means a death. One for one, supports are dead. Like has a guardian angel, and that gets popped. Karzi wants a bit more. Will it happen? True shot barrage. Not going to get a whole lot done. Light can lifesteal. And he will not be killed by Humanoid. But look at the poke coming out from the Mad Lions. The wave is there. Ten LNG are coming in. For Armut. A big dive. GA popped. Icon Zonias. Tarzan low. Tarzan Dunk is going to miss. And Karzi kills him. The base is alive. But Light is not. Humanoid on the chase. All I at 800 health. Icon at 50. Humanoid chain will not land. Mad Lions are successfully able to hold the line. Look at Armut. Armut's in the back of the base. He has a wave at his back door as well. And they're looking to make their way to the quarterfinals. Do they run fast enough? True shot barrage is the ace. And the last hope of Europe is still alive. LNG have been defeated. And Mad Lions will maybe join the quarterfinals. Respawn's on the way, but you have to believe Leona's not going to defend the base. Mad Lions were one and two, and they made it happen into the quarterfinals.